Mechana Crave Mopa, Tamasuna Ramga Ma Chuchane, Anta Screen Sochi, Norcha Here Mechok Windido. Thank <laughs> you. 
The time to hide your presence is coming to a close, and you will need to increase your training. You are ready. Your training must increase, and there are higher mysteries you must learn. But only you must know the path you will take. I cannot choose it for you. Is it battle that stirs you? To meet an enemy blade upon blade? Such is the way of the greatest of Jedi warriors, the Weapon Masters. Or perhaps it is investigating the mysteries of the galaxy, seeking out injustice and harm, and bringing it into the light. Such is the way of the Jedi Watchmen in the time of Ulik Keldroma and Exar Kun. Or perhaps your way lies upon the ancient mysteries, and to teach others the ways of the Force, as I have, the way of the Jedi Masters. It is not some great test you require to be what you strive to be. It is only your decision to find that path that matters. From here on, you guide your destiny. But in order to take the next steps, you must face your past and put it to rest. I can't believe we just blew up Godot's yacht. That's gonna destabilize crime throughout this whole sector. Yeah, well, you'll understand if I hold back the tears. You don't understand. Crime in the YouTube system, it's like the economy. Plus the power vacuum. Even if Voga gets up and running again, the system is gonna be feeling the effects for years to come. Yeah, well, at least we didn't find that Jedi Master with the weird name. Zez Kyle? Um, well, that's not true. I already found him. Actually, he found me first. 
He hired me to watch out for you, keep Goto off your back until he could meet with you. We'll need to head back to Narshada, to that safe house off the docks. I said I'd meet up with him there if we ran into any trouble. What do you want now? If you thought to escape my notice so easily, you would be wrong. As a token of my goodwill, I present to you a gift, this droid. It will serve you well on your journey. As I indicated, this unit will remain with you and guard you. It will also serve as an effective voice for my orders during your journey. I cannot harm you. You are the key to saving the Republic. Pray that you do not prove yourself otherwise. So, you have returned from exile. Kavar thought you might, if only to wander your old battlegrounds. But I did not think you would come to Nar Shaddaa. Still, you were always a difficult one to read, both when you were tied to the Force, and even more when it was lost to you. I do not know. It was a sense he had, and he had served in war as you had. Perhaps he thought he understood you. Or maybe he simply hoped he did. He felt you were the key to understanding the threat we face. The others were not so certain, but so many of them are gone now, as you no doubt know. Uh, he sensed some connection between you and many of the worlds touched by war. He thought by traveling to such places, he could achieve understanding. No doubt. I think the answers will provide us both with some measure of peace. I have kept secrets for far too long. They have scattered, but there is purpose in their movements. It is both to hunt and draw out our enemies. Somehow, they, we, are being targeted through the Force, and when Jedi gather, we are vulnerable. So we have chosen places where it is difficult to sense others through the Force, whether on planets dense with life or touched by war. In such places, we may conceal ourselves, gather information without presenting ourselves as targets. It was part of Kavar's plan. Yes, he felt if our enemy cannot detect us, then perhaps they would believe themselves victorious and show themselves. And we knew that the war would be lost if we continued to act as we had. I do not know where they wander now. There are few of us, though. Too few. And I have not heard from them in some time. Brook still lives? I had not felt his presence for some time. What I can tell you, I will. We told you it was because you followed Revan to war, but you ask because you are not certain of that answer, nor were we. The day we cast you out, that is the moment I decided to leave the Order, because I do not believe we truly faced the reasons you were exiled, and if we do not examine such truths, then we are already lost. I think it was because we were afraid. It is a difficult thing to live one's life with the Force. To see a vision of what it would be like to be severed from it, it is more frightening than you know. Now, now I must take up the role I was ready to cast aside. This threat has finally revealed itself, and we Jedi will need to stand together. I did not speak fully of what I have felt. Staying on Nar Shaddaa, it is an exile of sorts, one that I have chosen. I, too lost a Padawan on Malachor, not to the battle, but to the alternative, to the teachings that Revan brought from the unknown regions. And I was not the only Jedi Master to watch a student turn on them. No, no, they were not to blame, but many of the Order did so. It was a difficult time, a time of strong emotion. Perhaps the Council, perhaps the Order itself, had grown arrogant in their teachings. It is easy to cast blame, 
but it is perhaps time the Order accepted responsibility for their teachings and their arrogance and come to recognize that perhaps we are flawed. Not once did I hear one of the Council claim responsibility for Revan, for Exar Kun, for Ulik, for Malak, or for you. Yet, you were the only one who came back from the wars to face our judgment. And rather than attempting to understand why you did what you did, we punished you instead. Our one chance to see where we had gone wrong, and we cast it aside. And now, that decision has come back to us and may carry with it our destruction. Perhaps there is something wrong in us, in our teachings, and though I tried, I could not cause that thought to leave me, so I left the council. And I was not the only one. That is why many scattered, and why many in the Republic do not trust us, and why we do not trust ourselves. Make no mistake, I am no Jedi. This is the end, you see. After this, there will be nothing, and I think it will be for the best. Do you wish to do battle now? I have nothing more to say. It provides no comfort at all, for reasons in which I still must keep secret. Suffice to say, redemption was not Revan's choice, and I have never believed those of the Council who attempt to console themselves otherwise for the crime they committed. But we have spoken enough, I think, and words I think dull us both. Let us speak through the Force, through sparring. This is a long war, I fear, with many battles left to fight. You will need to conserve your strength when using the Force, if you hope to make it through the long road ahead. This form heightens your affinity to the Force, allowing you to gather your strength faster, even in the midst of combat. Perhaps exile has been good to you indeed. It has certainly not dulled your instincts, nor the speed at which you learn. I shall go to Dantooine, to the ruins of the Enclave. If you gather the others, I will meet you there. And thank you, exile. You're returning. It is good that you are back among us.
Dumpe Masuraku, Popayi, Botenia, Tachimorosa Gamsa Herinocha, Mina Radocha, Kawana Dumpa. She comes. Bograkin, Unchupagrat, we kill a journey. Dobra kinun chuba grat wikili joni wik Patisaka tunta shok una tu bot maliai Dobra kinun chuba grat wikili Yo mawa ma mi bobo, Lord I wish wanga shachi. Chichi skabuye, tapi cha chichi skabuye, tapi cha yu watagri. Ulgo ki. Chichis kabule, tapi cha yubon, yun bula, dobra kinun chuba grat wikili joni, wichi bula no. Bosca Duana. <laughs> 